Warning, this game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Individuals suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a safe experience playing this game. For content warnings, please visit this website. By playing Doki Doki Literature Club, you agree that you are of at least 13 years of age and you consent to the exposure of highly disturbing content. So welcome back to our friend games. My name is Chris and um, the last episode of Doki Doki, uh, we started seeing that things are not quite as happy-go-lucky as they appear to be and obviously, to be fair, we had been warned. Now, I have no problem talking about anything that comes upon in these games. Uh, we have went through an entire game, um, Mor The Mortician's Tale, where we talked about death and its death-positive message. I can and will have no problem talking about anything, but I didn't talk so much about the depression of Sayori. Um, and there's a reason for this. Uh, I haven't talked about her depression because there is still more to her story and the worst thing you can do and the worst thing that is conceivable in a situation where emotions are heavy in a, in, and everything is kind of you know not looking so well um, is to not have all the information you can when talking about it I could talk about the dep a depression from those I know or, or in, in a similar sense uh, I could talk about those I've read about I could talk about those I don't know but have heard about but at the same time none of these are going to be that individual's circumstance and because they're not that individual's say Ori in this case circumstance I I didn't want to talk about it then, but we will eventually talk about it when, well, obviously when shit starts hitting the fan more so in this game. But on that note, well, let's go ahead and continue on um, with Doki Doki, and I believe we're going to be hanging out with Yuri today, which should be fun? Something is, I don't know. We've already hit the, we've already hit the crescendo, so I mean, stuff is going to happen at this point. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moment of, a moment of panic. Yuri? Ah, thank thank goodness. You're uh you're you're a little you're a little early there, Yuri. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. I I was elsewhere. With how are you? How hi hey? Were you waiting? Were you waiting for me long? No, no. I uh I just got here. But uh, I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You know, you could have always texted me. We've we've been conversing back and forth momentarily for uh, for a while. If I had known, I would have reassured you and hurried uh, hurried more on my way home. I I I suppose that is true. I didn't think of that for for some reason. It should be common sense to do that, but I decide to ignore that because thinking back, I realize that Yuri pretty much has exactly zero friends, and I might be her first friend. And now that I think about it, that thought scares the shit out of me. <laughs> Anyways, anyways, let's go inside. I see you brought brought a lot of stuff with you. That's that's right. And did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy us as well? Yeah, no, I I got I got the paper. I I got the I got the pin. I I got this 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 little thing that you kept you write. You, I couldn't read the bottom one. It's like you wrote it and then you scribbled it out and then you trying to like rewrote over it and then I I don't know what it is. It looks like a knife. I I don't know. At least, as I hope I got everything right. Oh, I'm I'm sure it'll be fine. I take Yuri to my room. The first thing she does is glance around cautious, curiously, which makes me feel anxious. Really, really anxious. It's... it's so clean. <laughs> it's totally... I cleaned it before you came over, so, um... That's... that's very considerate of you. 
Oh no, I just, I don't want you to see nearly half the stuff that I have in my room. It would be really embarrassed to, for my room to be a mess while you were here. Hmm? Well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. <laughs> um, hmm. Thank you for your offer. Uh, but the point of me not showing you, or me not cleaning with you here, is so I don't want you to see all the shit that I have in my room that I'm hiding in my closet currently, or under my bed. Don't look too closely. No, no, that would be that would be even more embarrassing. Wait, 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 wait! Don't look in there. I snatched Yuri's wrist, which, in the process of opening a desk, I snatched Yuri's wrist, which was in the process of opening a desk drawer of mine. Ah, ah. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. No, no, it's, it, it's fine. It's, uh, that's, um, <clears throat> I have my magazines in there. Just, uh, I apologize ahead of time. I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts both of her hands firmly in her lap, as if making sure she's keeping track of them. So, um, uh, should, should we get started? Ah, yes, yes, um, I have a few things planned that you could, uh, you could help with. Decorations and other atmospheric enhancements. Atmospheric enhancements? What? You know, mood lighting, uh, aromatherapy candles. Ow, ow, wow, I... I, I didn't know you had planned in, on taking it that far. Of course. I wanted to help, uh, to help take our guests to a faraway place. Although... Minnie will stop by just out of curiosity, and uh, for cupcakes, I guess. But I'm determined to to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's that that is great. Possibly a fire hazard, but totally great. Wait, no aroma. Wait, wait, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. It's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Uh huh. In intense. I I I guess that's the best way to put it. It's uh. Is that a bad thing? Uh, no, 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 not at all. No, um, it's something I like about you, actually. It's, uh, is that so? That makes me feel relieved and and kind of happy. Yeah, yeah, no, no need to be so anxious. Just, um, uh, just don't look in my closet. You can relax, you can relax. You're in a, you're, you're, you're good, you're good. <laughs> relax, relax. Uh, I, I brought some things for, for relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry event, but uh, yeah, um, really. Uh, so what? Do you, like, like what? Like, I'm, I'm curious what you, what you use to relax. Um, let, let's see. Yuri rummages through her bag. She pulls out a few candles and a wooden cylinder-shaped object. I, I did some shopping on the way here, so I happen to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles to light the room. I think that would, I think that would be amazing, don't you? I. Uh, yeah, no, kind of. How are you gonna read? Oh, wait, poetry. Yeah, you You know what? Never mind. All right, ignore what I said. So, um, what's the wooden thing, though? I, I don't know. Oh, oh, this? It's a diffuser for essential oils. How familiar are you with aromatherapy? I, I, I know it smells nice. Uh, is is that so? It's one of my favorite con uh, contributions to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils or herbs you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. You can even feel it permeate through your body. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. Yuri takes a cylinder and pushes a switch on the bottom. In just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to sprout through a small hole in the top. Wow, that smells wonderful. I do know a little bit about aromatherapy. Uh, aromatherapy. I'm not a big fan of it, but I mean, I, there's nothing wrong with it. I just, I'm personally not gonna have a candle floating around on my on my desk. I don't. Now that I think about it. I probably should get a, a candle. Hmm. So um, I'm gonna hazard it. Um, I hazard to ask, but. What kind of mood is this one for? This is jasmine essential oil. Jasmine is not... Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna let this one play out. It smells a little sweet and flowery, right? 
Yeah, no, that's that's a good way to describe it. That's uh, that's definitely Jasmine. Um, I chose Jasmine for the event because it provides more than relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you feel them flow through your body. You feel warmer and your heart pounds more heavily. Don't you think that'll be perfect for sharing our poems? It it does sound suitable for poetry reading. Maybe not my room with two people alone. Um. But you seem to know a lot about this, so I'm going to trust your opinion on, any, on anything. Yuri smiles gently, clearly enjoying herself. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. So what are, um, what are these for? Well, um, did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? Yeah, no, I, I have it right here. Right here. We won't be using the paper for folding origami. <gasps> Sacrilege. But I like I, what I'd like to do is write a different word on each paper. We'll need about a hundred of them. Okay, yeah, um... But what would they be used for? Well, I'm going to, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon to hang them from the doorway of the classroom. Then we can fasten the paper to the ribbons to create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? It would also catch the eyes of those passing by the room. It may attract, it, it may attract some to peek inside. That actually is pretty cool. Um, I had no idea you were such a good, you were so good at this, Yuri. Uh, is, is, is that so? Uh, well, I suppose I do get a little intense, as, as you put it. Yuri giggles with her red cheeks. Is it just me, or is she more relaxed than when it's just the two of us? I, is it just me, or is she more relaxed when it's just the two of us? Or maybe it's the excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. Or maybe it's the jasmine, which has another effect of warming the body and increasing emotions. Um, <clears throat> Here's a marker, you. You can write any characters you want. I'll help you once I finish cutting the ribbon. Cool. All right. Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. I carefully draw a different character on each paper, making my best to manage my bad handwriting. Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon to her desired length. Then she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Uh, pulls out a pocket knife. Oh my god, you got a knife! I'm not surprised. The knife is strangely beautiful. The silver handle is an intricate pattern of waves etched into it. Into it. The blade itself is gently tinted blue. That's no ordinary pocket knife. It looks very fancy. Ah, uh, um, well, uh, embarrassed, Yuri looks away. What is it? What is so special about this knife? I, you know what? I'm not, I'm not even gonna hazard, I'm not gonna guess, I'm not gonna, I know, I, I kinda know, I think I know, we're gonna figure out what the hell's up with this knife. You're, you're going to think it's weird. Um, Yuri, Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge yet. To each their own, you know? If if you if you promise you won't be weirded out, I I promise. Um. Okay. Okay. Um. But the thing is, I'm I'm kind of into knives. They're just so pretty. I I, I can't help it. I I don't know what it is. Uh, the combination of craftsmanship, a craftsmanship and feeling of danger, maybe. Oh, what am I saying? What am I saying? Um. Please don't think I'm weird for this. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Actually, no, I got, I'm kind of with Yuri on this. I do, I, I personally am not a fan of, I'm a fan of collecting knives. I, I haven't really collected any in a long time, and I don't even have a big, big collection. But there are just some knives, um, that just look amazing. And you can tell, and I, I do watch, like, the, uh, the, what, uh, I, I do watch the, um, Forged in Fire that they have on, like, a, I don't know, like True TV or something, where there, we have you have people just making physically making the knives. I like the workman, I like the craftsmanship of that. Um, maybe not so much actually having the knife or owning a knife. <laughs> you're la you're laughing at me. I no no I'm 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 not laughing at you. I might be. I'm actually not laughing at you, both in game and out of game. It's just funny how nervous you get about sharing. It's uh, it's well, it's an interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I think it kind of 
<laughs> I think it kind of suits you. I okay okay the the story is gonna go really bad from this point on. It's gonna be hilarious. Um, uh, uh, suits me. Yeah, it's some um, kind of intense. <laughs> I I'm trying to dig myself out of a hole. <laughs> Besides, it's a really cool looking knife. I cannot deny that. No. Uh, it is, isn't it? Yuri relaxes her expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Close it first, then hand it to me, and yes. Sure, I would love to check it out. Yuri carefully hands me the knife, with the blade facing me. I take it and turn it around in my hands. It feels heavy, extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this? In Japan. Curious of its sharpness, I feel the point of a knife with my index finger. Ah, son of a... You, why did you do that? Well, I look, it look, I, it, I, 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 I don't know. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be that sharp, though. I barely, I barely touched it. I get like, ow. It's, it's, it's my fault. I should have warned you. The knife is extremely sharp because you know it's a knife. It can cut through skin like, I, what the fuck, Yuri? <laughs> oh no. A small blood, a uh, small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Yuri takes my hand and gives the wound a closer look. Ah. She stares at it and noticeably fidgets. If you're squeamish, I can go wash it off right now. As I say before, I click the next screen, which I have a feeling is gonna jump to a different picture. Ah. Without warning, Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and licks the wound. I feel her tongue curl around my finger. Startled, I instinctively pull my hand back. Oh, uh, please forgive me. I, I, I wasn't thinking. I, uh, I, to be fair, I mean, I honestly don't mind. But um, it, it's okay. Um, let's let's continue on. Um, oh, Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. Uh, <clears throat> Yuri. Uh, Yuri. Um. That's, that's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I do, do something like that? I, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. Ah, uh, ah, uh, um, <clears throat> you know, sure, it, sure, it's a, it took me a little by surprise, and it was definitely weird. But I guess she's trying to help, right? <laughs> Question mark? Um, uh -huh. Yuri, Yuri, I, I think you're overreacting a little. <laughs> If she doesn't lift her head. What if she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the afternoon? Okay, okay. You know, right? You know what? <laughs> this might be the stupid thing to do, but I do it anyways. I take Yuri's hand and lick her index finger in return. You! Did you really just do that? You know what? I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing, so yeah, sure, yes, I just did that. <laughs> Look, I. <laughs> <clears throat> now, now, now we're even. We're totally even. Um, let's just never talk about, never, just never speak of this. And you know what? I'm just, I'm just gonna continue on. Um, Yuri just looks at me like I did something horribly, 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 horribly inappropriate, which I probably did. <laughs> let's. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab a drink of water. <laughs> I, I knew that would be a bad idea. Um, if not for the sweet aroma of the jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. You're so weird, you. I... <laughs> Yuri. Yuri giggles shyly. I... What? What? Um, Yuri! Yuri, Yuri. Yuri is calling me weird. Sure, alright, fine. I... I, have, I actually have no response to that. I mean, I did just lick her finger. Um... Oh, where do you keep your bandages? Ah, <clears throat> uh, I honestly don't think I need one. It was just a tiny cut. Look, it's tiny cut. Look, it's already stopped bleeding. I, I see. That's relieving. The tension is quickly lifted. We each resume our respective activities. I watch Yuri's knife cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. Meanwhile, I continue to make progress on the papers. 
After we finish attaching the paper to the ribbons, we lay them all next to each other side by side. It looks better than I expected, and it will be very effective as a door curtain. It looks amazing, Yuri. I, good thing in coming up with this. Haha, uh, thanks. Um, just something I saw online, really. Are you ready to move on to the, ne the next task? Yeah, no, let's, uh, let's do that. Um, so, uh, what do you got in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy, to buy the paint tablets. Ah, yes, I, those. Um, one of the items Yuri had asked me to buy was a kit of watercolor paint tablets. We'll need about six cups. Six, we'll need about six cups of water to put each in, to put each of the tablets in. Do you mind fetching those for us? No, of course not. No, I'm I'm good. Um, I will go six cups of water. I will be right back. Thank you. Oh, and uh, just a little bit of water is okay. If you fill the cups too much, it'll be it'll will be too diluted. Taking Yuri's advice, I decided to use two. I used decided to use small plastic bathroom cups rather than full size glasses. I put them on the plate to catch any paint that drips, then bring it back into my room. Yuri, Yuri, oh my God, she's wandering my closet. Ah, uh, she's digging around in my room, isn't she? Yes. I come to see quickly. Yuri, uh, Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeves, pulling it back over her arm. You can't see it because I don't use face cam. But I'm face palming because I have an idea with her love of knives, the poetry, uh, the poem that we read, we, we inferred a bit about and possibly a hymn now. And I was told that I was wrong about, um, which is good, which is good that, you know, the, the, the person who, who commented told me I was wrong because I honestly don't mind being wrong. And again, I'm only taking it knowledge that I have at the time. Um, but I have an idea of what she... Let's just say I know why she wears long sleeves. And I'm like 80% certain at this point. But let's just continue on, shall we? Ah, nothing. Um, your face, however, is a little red. Just a little. Is it? Is it too hot in here or something? Ah, uh -huh. um, no, no, not at all. There's nothing wrong, so, uh, let's, let's mix the paint. Yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets, dropping them into the cups. Uh, so, I thought we would do something simple that would look very nice. I'd like to paint a, paint a gradient across the banner, starting with the colors for sunrise, then daytime, then sunset, and nighttime. Once it dries, I'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. We can hang it on the wall behind the podium at the front of the classroom. That's totally neat. Yeah, no, I like it. I, so what are you going to write? Uh, well, it'll be more fun to surprise you. Yuri smiles at me. No, sure. Yeah, if you say so. Um, After rolling out the banner, Yuri and I kneel on the opposite sides so we don't get in, in, in the way of each other. Yuri uses the brush and adds a few dots of different colors across the banner to serve as a color, a color guide for when we paint. This, this kind of reminds me of elementary school. Painting on a banner with watercolors feels a lot like the art class project we had back then. It's relaxing. Ah, uh, I'm, I'm sorry if this feels too childish. No, no, you, no, you know what? I know, I understand. I know I didn't mean it at all. And I'm gonna go ahead and take a break here. One, to take a sip of water. I don't know why I'm very, very thirsty today. But two, Too. I have actually know I know a few people uh, that almost feel like they enjoy apolog apologizing and and every time every time I talk to them every time I you basically sit down and I actually talk to them not talk with them um, it always it always comes up that that it is a rare occurrence for people not to get frustrated with them. Sometimes you just kind of have to let things be. Just just by just by letting letting things just kind of flow naturally at their pace. If you follow if you, rather sorry, rather follow their pace as opposed to trying to have them follow your pace because yes, they may apologize ad nauseum, but 
they're apologizing because they, because for reasons, but they always think something is wrong or that they are doing something wrong. And if you are following their pace, they are the ones, they are the ones uh, setting the tempo. So I mean, you know, it 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 goes a long way. And uh, I apparently have done this naturally, <laughs> um, but it's it's helpful if you have friends or family or somebody you know or, and or care about that actively apologizes. So no, 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 I didn't. I honestly didn't mean it at all. It's kind of fun, you know. It, yeah. It, it is fun. I'm glad you feel that way, too. Yuri stops painting for a moment, thinking to herself. Um, for me, uh, I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even want to. I just like it when I can spend time with one other person. Even if it's something simple, like reading, it doesn't even matter if we don't talk much. Just having a friend next to me makes things a little bit nicer. I think that that's all it takes for me to be happy. Is that so? I, as the brain ninja, I actually kind of agree. I I go out sometimes, but I mean, I have no problem just hanging out and just do, hanging out with one or two people. Look, even if Yuri and I are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. I feel that way about things like anime and games where simply sharing the experience with someone can make me happy. I think I feel the same way. Yuri smiles gently. I, I knew you'd understand. Yuri leans over the banner to grab an unused paintbrush. But I move at the same time, causing my head to bump into hers. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, ow, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Ow. Yuri reels back, and I quickly lift my hands in surprise. Are, are you hurt? Are you... My head is hard. Are you... Is yours okay? No, no. I'm... I'm... I'm not hurt. It just startled me, that's all. Sorry, I... I should have asked you to get it for me. I, no, no. Look, it's not your fault. Ah, your face. Um, there are droplets of paint on Yuri's face and neck. Is is there something on my face? I I accidentally got a little bit of paint on you, like right right here, right here, maybe like right here, and possibly all right here. I that that's and I really apologize. That is actually my fault. Um. I'm gonna go get a towel, like, right away. I rush out and fetch a small towel, when, then I dampen it with hot water. I return to my room and kneel back in front of her. There's the scene change. Here. I pat down Yuri's face and neck with the towel. Ah. Is, um, <clears throat> is something wrong? Question mark, I ask as, a, as the male protagonist of an anime. Um, it's, uh, it's hot. I just, I didn't expect it. Sorry, I... I didn't want to use cold water. Having finished, I start to retract my hand. But Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Just uh, a, a little longer. It feels feels really nice. Ah, yes. <clears throat> yes, a uh, warm towel is very nice. I keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. She looks into my eyes. It's... An intense expression that I recognize from when she reads her books. Almost as, she's, almost as if she's lost in a daze, enveloped by her own thoughts. She breathes gently, half through, slightly parted lips. What is happening? Is it the aroma of the jasmine oil giving me this dizzy feeling? Yuri's gentle fingers wrapped around my wrist send a tingling sensation through my arm. And suddenly, her face seems to be so much closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. Ah. Yuri slowly pulls away. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've, I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. No, no, it's, it's fine. I mean, just no. no um, uh, keep your head, uh, chest high. Ch yeah, don't, don't look anywhere below my chest. Um, the moment is over as soon as it began. Yuri picks up a brush again. But her moments seem clumsier, like she's unable to focus. I remain silent, fo uh, forced to ignore the event that just tran transpired. I hesitantly retrieve my own brush and continue to continue to follow Yuri's uh, example. That no, that should totally do it. I finish filling the night sky with white dots that look like stars. Looking at the banner as a whole, it's very pretty and natural looking. I think it came out better than expected. I'm really happy with the results. 
Yeah, no, me too. Uh, it looks amazing, as you can see in shown on screen right here. So, are you going to add the lettering now? Uh, no, no, not yet. Uh, it needs to dry first. Uh, that's true, but won't that take a while? Uh, well... Perhaps it'd be best to leave it here, then, then have you bring it in the morning. I can do the lettering in the classroom before the, our event starts. Is that okay? No, it's totally fine. Yeah, no. Um, wonderful. In that case, uh, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Yeah, no, that's... That is a load off my shoulders. However, something is happening. <laughs> do you say that like you're glad it's over? I have a knife, you know. Was I wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit? Haha, <laughs> no. Um... <clears throat> no, that's that's not quite it. And I can see you with that smile. You know that too. No, no, I'm just glad we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. Uh, I was a little concerned about time. I need to start making dinner soon. Ah, uh, um. So you don't have any time left? I was secretly hoping we would have an extra time after finishing the work. Uh, well... Yuri thinks to herself. I I think it would be too irresponsible of me to wait much longer. Ah, I'm, I'm sorry. I was hoping there would be more time as well. Uh, it's, it's it's probably my it's probably my fault getting myself cut, hat, getting a hot towel on your face, and then being too unfocused because of painting. It's you know what? I'm just gonna let that slide. Slide. Sorry for being such a slow worker. No, no, it's not your fault at all. And the important thing is that we've got. We got everything done, right? Yeah, no, we totally did. So, um, I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. And gathering all her things, Yuri seems a little downcast. I understand why. It sounds like she rarely gets the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxed environment. But that doesn't mean that this is the last time it can happen. Wink. Once Yuri packs up, I walk her to the front door. Thank you very much for having me today. No, no problem. I was glad to be able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need to, need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Uh, well then, um, Yuri fidgets. I, I, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, wait, wait. I kind of say that without thinking. Um, <clears throat> about to, um, about today. It's it's fine that you didn't have. It's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted. Because we can do this again. Wink. Whenever you want, you can come over or we can go out somewhere. Ah, I, I, I forgot you don't like going out much. As I stumble over my words, Yuri simply smiles bashfully. Anyways, um, you, you know what I'm trying to say, so... You're very thoughtful, you. Yuri takes a step closer to me and briefly squeezes my hand. I kind of like that about you. Well, how am I supposed to respond to that? But I don't even get a chance as Yuri suddenly pulls back. Sayori! Huh? What? Well, Sayori. Oh, son of a bitch. Uh -huh. uh, hi, hi, you. Say, Sayori. Hi, hi, Sayori. Hi, we. We just saw you. Um, all right, we live next to each other. This is going to be fun and hilarious. I don't know if I can... You know what? I'm going to continue. Just now we weren't. Um, <laughs> It's okay, you. I just stopped by to say hi. Um, um, It's, it's nice to see you, Sayori. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I was already on my way to leave. Oh, really? That's too bad. I'm sorry. Um... But we'll all be together for t the festival tomorrow, so, um, so that's fine, right? Of course, of course. Sayori beams. Yeah, so, um, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. And runs away. Clearly embarrassed, Yuri hurries off. Sayori, wa Sayori waves goodbye after her. Sayori, um, I thought you didn't want to come over today. Ah, uh -huh, well, um, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was really being mean to me. So I had to come here and, and see for myself. See, see what? What did you, what is your brain telling you? Oh, this is not gonna go good. Sayori, what are you talking about? Uh, you know, you know. How much fun you were having with, having with Yuri? And how close you got to her? It makes me 
really happy. Don't say that with the crying. Um, <sighs> that you've made such good friends. And, and that's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down Sayori's face. But that's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, you? I, I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would have been so much better if I could just disappear. Sayori, 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 don't, don't say that. Don't say that. It's true, you. If, it, if I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. I'm not wasting sympathy on anybody. I will never waste sympathy on anybody. If I sympathize with you, it's because I care. I'm not gonna waste. You can't waste sympathy. You, you, you wouldn't have to have to put up with me being selfish. You... Monica was wait 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 wait. Monica was right. Monica Monica was right. I I should. Monica wait. Hey, that bitch. And to think, Monica, I thought you were gonna be number two. Wait, wait, Monica was right about what? Sayori? What I said before was is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't a burden. Your isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it in, if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But but Sayori looks away. I put my hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I, I'm, I'm scared, you. I, I'm, I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sir, Sayori? I'm, I'm scared that... That I might like you more than you like... I... Mm. Sayori? Question mark. Um, it, it's true, isn't it? I was weak and I started to like you too much. I did this to myself. You? I said, you. I like you so much that I want to die. Always more death likes. Always. Uh, that, that's how I feel. And, and, and. I, look, that, that's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down to Sayori's arm and, sque and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I, I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? As a male anime protagonist who doesn't actually know shit? I make fun of male anime protagonists, but ultimately, we, we really don't know shit. Wordlessly, Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all of your feelings, I know what you, what you need the most right now. And that's what I'm going to give to you. So, so, we now have the choice. Now, the choice is, I honestly, I do care about Sayori. However, I don't love Sayori. And the problem being, she might love me. And with that the case, some shit will go down. And we do eventually have to talk to Monica. Because Monica... Oh, Monica, Monica, Monica. You will always be my dearest friend, Sayori. You will always be my dearest friend, obviously. What you need most is for things to be like they have always been. Monica told me the truth. She told me how much happier you seem after I joined the club. I know you're struggling with some really difficult feelings right now. But please trust me that I know what's best and what will make you happy in the end. Mind you, I am saying this as an anime, a male anime protagonist. I don't know shit. I promise I'll help you get things back to the way they were. I, I... I see. Sayori forces a smile through an incredibly pained expression. <laughs> Is this what it feels like to be stabbed in the chest? I, I should write a poem about this. So, Sayori, Sayori. It, it's okay, it's okay. This is just my punishment, remember? For being so selfish. 
<laughs> so please, please don't worry about these uh, stupid feelings. I, I know you're right. I, I knew this whole time that there's there's no happiness down that path. That's that's why I came here. So uh, just so I can get the answer I needed to hear, and other things. Oh, you're you're also right that I just wanted to go back to the, the way things was was the way things. You know what? Whatever. I I realize that now. You really do know me better than anyone. You. I I'll, I'll trust you with anything. I'll trust you with anything. <clears throat> sorry, my uh, my Yuri and my Sayori are kind of mixing up together. It's it's sorry. It's just a moment of sadness. Um, anything at all. So, Sayori fi smile finally breaks, and all of a sudden she turns around and drops to her knees. Ah! She's far away. I'm not. I don't want to scream right now. Clutching her her head with both hands, she screams as loudly as she can. I'm so shocked that I don't know how to react. Sayori looks over her shoulder and flashes me one more weak smile before turning around and running off. Sayori! No, don't go. I'm left, I'm left helplessly standing in front of my house. Why am I feeling so horrible about this? There's nothing more I could have done. The most I can do is support Sayori through her feelings and help her on the path that's right. But I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feeling as she is. Even though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if I should have be should be doing more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. I'm going to give it everything I've got. Sayori will always be my dearest friend. And I'll do whatever it takes to put a smile on her face every day. <laughs>